My next guest is an Ottawa-based photographer who's been called one of the most polarizing visual artists in Canada. And he created great controversy with his exhibit called In the Playroom, which created tableaus of headline news stories, uh, Abu Ghraib, 9-11, using children as models. Well, his latest exhibit is also quite provocative. It's called Little Lady, Little Man. And uh, its focus is death and aging, and it uses some quite dark and revealing photos of his grandparents who've now passed on. His name is Jonathan Hoban. He joined me at our show live in Ottawa at the Bronson Centre Theatre. This is a feature interview with Jonathan Hoban. Now, the Little Lady, Little Man, this exhibit features pictures of your grandparents, uh, including vulnerable photos of their aging bodies. What did, what did you want to say about aging and mortality in this exhibit? Um, well, it actually first began um, with two lullabies that my grandfather secretly recorded on audio cassette, and he left it behind. So those audio recordings um, came into my possession, and I found that they actually became um, sort of metaphors for death with the changing of the context for them. And so I found that with those lullabies, little lady, uh, make believe in little man, you've had a busy day, they became sort of representation of these two people mm. and so I expanded on that idea. There's this particular, as I'm looking at these, there's, there's, there's one particular picture that's especially haunting. It's the life-size photo of your unconscious grandmother uh, on her deathbed. Uh, obviously a very personal moment. Tell me about the instinct or desire to want to make that public. Um, well, I took the photo originally not intending it to be in an exhibition. I think that as a photographer, I think that I've often looked at photos as an opportunity to sort of capture that moment and not let it slip away. And this was when it turned out to be the day before that she died. Um, I didn't know what else to do, so I took a photograph. And it wasn't until much later that I thought, it is a way of, I guess this is my version of a nude photograph where I'm really sharing a very vulnerable and personal moment with people. And so to actually be able to view her as I saw her before, just before she died, I think was a really personal thing that I she, felt. She wouldn't, I mean, your grandparents wouldn't know, and she wouldn't know in that moment, certainly, that these photos would become public. Right. Uh, some people would consider taking a photo like that and, and making it public exploitative in some sort of way. Yeah. Do I you think, worry about that? Oh, I think I do. I mean, I've learned a while ago that you have to follow your, your instinct and your gut. And I am the person who best knows the relationship between me and my grandparents. Um, but it was definitely a concern later on. Once you've done this thing and you've made it, you kind of go, ooh, what are people going to think about that? You're, tell me, tell me you, you said before um, the exhibit opened that you weren't even sure how your family would react. How have they reacted? Well, my immediate family is really proud, and I think that they know that um, my grandparents would, although at first I think that they would be shocked to hear it, I think they would be so excited and so proud that I would spend all this time, effort, and money to produce a show that really is honoring my relationship with them. And I think that if you go to the show, you understand right away that it's totally coming from a place of respect and honor, and they got that right away. Um, I don't know how my extended family is going to feel. I don't know if they've even seen the show yet. See, I feel like I would feel more vain, or my family would, you know, like make sure we have enough makeup on when you take the photos of us yeah. dead. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. I, I want to look good you know, in my death photos. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually funny that you bring that up because my grandmother is, was a very proper lady. And so, you know, even in the last days when I came in to visit her, she was, you know, had that attitude of like, hold on, I don't have my lipstick on. And, you know, my mother was like, you don't have your teeth in either. But, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's one of those things where she... Very sensitive of your mother, yes. <laughs> You know, she, she, uh, she was a very a strikingly beautiful and, and classy woman. And I think that the, another part of the exhibit, too, is that she was photographed, photographed at three points of her life by Yusuf Karsh, who's, you know, one of Canada's master sure. photographers. Yeah. And those three photographs are also in the exhibit. So it gives people an opportunity to see her in the height of her, her beauty and then see that same subject of Karsh's 70 years later, literally the day that, before she died. Thank you for being here. Oh, no, thank you for having me. Jonathan Hoban, Ottawa-based photographer, latest exhibit, Little Lady, Little Man. 
showing at Ottawa's City Gallery.